Hello again, this is the Water Man, Spiritual Toolbox, number 112, the Love Chapter, number 88, <clears throat> and Audio Recording, number 430, it's also Examination Table, number 92. Okay, we'll be continuing in 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 8. I'll start off by reading it from the King James Version. <coughs> the King James in verse 8 of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 says, Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall pass away. Okay? I've covered all the way down and I'm... Down into, uh, let's see, whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Okay, I'm actually down to they shall cease, but I'll, I'll recap uh, whether there be tongues. That weather, you know, we covered that before. That's that. Um, hang on. Got it right there, but actually, it's funny that same word that the translators weather is used three times. In this um, verse and you notice when you're going through the eye of the needle each one of those faces the Passover Pentecost tabernacle the first day second day experience third day experience within you it is all is like the three days in the in the in the belly of the earth that Jesus was in before you know when we're in this earthly thinking each one of those ball thinkings, it's a processing thing. These things are all related. Okay. <clears throat> now, that weather is from the word. Let's see. Well, if I can just speak it. Well. Well, it's, it's the word um, <clears throat> 1535, and it's. E I T E, okay. I don't know, I couldn't get it to say it. Oh, hang on. It jumped me off the internet. Let me put that on and I'll just continue from the notes till it comes back up. Okay. Now, that um, <clears throat> weather, which I've already covered is basically if and or if um hang on, let me get right to it so i'm not yeah right here it's a conjunction at 1535 e-i-t-e -E, conjunction from two other words 1487 and 5037 if whether to if to okay we've already covered this First one, whether there be tongues, um, what does it say? They shall cease, okay. And that was that I tell you, that's word whether it's if, okay, okay, it's just a conditionality, okay. It's agree with God or you disagree, whichever way you go, if, 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 okay, in these eyes of the storm, okay. Well, you you know that that thought process that ball that you're thinking is being baptized by the Holy Spirit, right? It's purifying spirit. God's purifying spirit is purifying you through that boiling water and then that bitter vinegar solution to change that to like chopping this stuff up, melting it out, right? Lots of heat and lots of lots of fire trials and lots of pressure, thalipsis, tribulation, calamities. Stuff like that, okay? <coughs> okay, now if there's tongues, what's that? Glossa. I think it's how it pronounces it. Whoops. Push a couple wrong buttons there. There we go. Strong's G, 1100. Glossa. 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 Okay. 
it's glossa 1100 okay uh, and uh let me see how that king james uh, yeah whether there be tongues okay um okay it's just uh weather is in there and then tongues and then they shall cease that's the only three words in there okay all right now weather is a if you know agree or disagree basically and then glossa that's the tongues and that's um <clears throat> a tongue or a language you see um online biblical usage is the language or distinct or dialect used by a particular people um, distinct from that of other nations and that's in nations in your mind see out here nations okay external but we're dealing inside that's where God's working okay where's, where's grace the divine influence God's influence in your mind and your thought processes and it's reflection out into your life into your lifestyle the way you act with you your very existence and it's always with gratitude great gratitude for god you're acknowledging god is great god is my exceeding great reward when you get all the way down to e and that's why in god there's not gonna be no need for no uh actual language between you and god you're right in you're locked in there tight in that, like, nucleus. You're a little ball of fire. For God, it's sped up so fast. It's like the vibrating of those atoms and vibrating of the, all the little bitty parts inside of you. It's like, it's like a gamma ray. It's in that pipeline. It's held hot tightly by God. Boom, that's a little fire. God's... Relate your fire of God's love. God is light. God is love. His understanding of that love beyond words. You're, you're the, whenever you will see him and will be, you know, to understand him. Seeing and speak about understanding. When we're understanding him totally in this thought process, pow, it's um, God is love. He's not tormenting nobody on this. That little bit of negative electron experience and stuff, and it's it's quite a substan substantial at times. That's nothing compared to what you get. If you just persevere, just keep going, enduring it. It's just correcting the way you think. We see there's very few. There's broad as a way to destruction, and many are that'll go that way, and narrow or narrow wing going down, pressing that, getting in there to it ignites into a, it fuses, like a, it's fusion, a fusion reactor, basically, a, a little star inside your mind, all right, then boom, it's in, it's on, you're on fire for God, you're pursuing and not pursuit to it becomes, so you exist, 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 pursuing, agreeing, pursue, 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 Agree in hot pursuit of God. Yes, you're right. Father, chop this out, melt it out, skim it off. Do what you got to do. I don't want it. I don't want my stinking thinking. And when it comes in there and it's purified, that little ball made it into a pearl of great price. Boom, it's on fire for God. It's no longer uh, in this doom and gloom and this poop thinking of your own righteousness, which is filthy, stinking rags. It's dung. It's all counted as done for winning Christ. Get to that little boom, I'm on fire. I'm fire! God's ministers are as, it's a flame of, is as a flame of fire. <coughs> it's, it's in every little thought process. A whole bunch of them. It's growing that seed of faith back into the truth of God. No, there is. God's not giving you a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Boom, and you're that little fire inside. That's that's powerful. Okay? God's doing it. You're just, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. I want my bags full. <laughs>
Okay? Now. So this little ball. Okay? Now. This tongues and language having to speak and stuff. And out here in this darkness. You're speaking all this stuff. You're you, not knowingly or not. When you're trying to make up your own mind. What's good and bad or good or evil. Okay? That's from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And you shall... The day that you eat or partake of that, you shall surely die. You'll be separated from God. All right? That's that's now. That's back well as back then. That's not just a Garden of Eden thing and it's done with and we don't have to worry about that because that's way outside of us and that's history and blah, blah, blah. That's, that's, uh, I don't have to deal with that. That don't, that don't pertain to me right now. Oh, really? I thought God was the same yesterday, today, forever. He tried, the Lord changed not. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're agreeing with God or you're not. And you keep going so long, agree, agree, agree. Just that, boom, God lights you back into it like his father. Okay, you're you're on you're on fire for God, basically. Okay, now these tongues, when you're in E and that's why in God, you're resting in God. You're like quantumly entangled and tightly locked. You're facing God. Your your attention is in God. I only do what my Father says. Yeah, you know? like in uh, yeah, like in John chapter ten, verse twenty nine and thirty, and Jesus was talking and having these those Pharisees and stuff was religious man made religious separatives that were bitter enemy of Jesus Christ and his cause. And Jesus remember from twenty four twenty four I S O U S, right? Yahweh is salvation, is deliverance from this thing. Okay? He's the pattern son, Romans eight chapter eight, verse twenty nine. He's the firstborn among many brethren. He's the anointed Messiah. He's the one showing us. He's the, the, the way, the truth, and the life. He's the gate. Earlier in, in John chapter 10. See? Now, this in there, like in the verse, let's go there real quick. I'll just read it. Try not to get real, go real deep or nothing. Just, just read it, and you can look that out and think it out, work it out for yourself. <coughs> Let's just read out of the, uh, I'll read it out of the King James. Uh, John chapter 10, verse 29 and 30, okay? This is Jesus Christ, the anointed, the anointed one, okay? Okay, Father of salvation, yes. Through the anointing of God, okay? My Father, which gave me, gave them me. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Boom. Trump card. <laughs> I and my Father are one. God's, Jesus is the thought processes of Jesus. You can do it all, all things through the name of Jesus, right? It is his uh, thought processes because they're joined. Father, I and my Father are one. Agree, agree, agree. There is no controversy. God is the great. God is he's better than any chocolate cake or steak or anything. God is my exceeding great reward. He's the thing that fulfilled me when I, when my efforts reaches out. In there, no matter what kind of turmoil, tri tribulation, fire, trial, or anything, being thrown in the lion's den, anything. Building an ark out in the middle of the desert and everybody laughing and carrying on and doing all kinds of nasty stuff to me. Rest in God. Ian. That's why I am in union with God. He's my fulfillment. All this other stuff, turning back, saying, yeah, you're right, I'm just, 
I'm just building this ark out here, and I'm, it's, it ain't even rained out here. So what, what am I doing? That's like, open your hand, your grass mat, put a poop ball in your hand, or nothing. It's all, you turn a pillar of salt, all this stuff. That's yuck. That's turn back, turn away. That's disagreement. But if you keep resting, when you get all the way down in there, that's the only way to exist. You come all the way through this stuff. It's just like, you know, he's lifted above the floods. All this other crap thinking is just, just done away with by the water. But God stopped processes. Hmm. With the presence of God. Hmm. You don't have to worry about it. God is your salvation. He's just lifting you above all this earthly, fleshly thinking. Higher into the spiritual realm. Okay? I mean, I'll talk about that here in a little bit. Okay? That's it. But I and my father are one. Man, that's the pattern, son. Jesus. He can't do it no better. <clears throat> All right? He's telling me. Get in, get your thought process, get your mind right. Put on the mind of Christ. Get right back in and that's why in God's thought process. And it's got to be by God's doing it. He's offering you these these uh, opportunities in the eyes of these storms to go, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, get in hot pursuit of God and get the increase. Because God is the only one giving the increase. Yahweh is salvation, right? Is that what Jesus' name means? I-E-S-O-U-S, -S, number 2424. Look at it yourself. Big good brand. Okay. Now, <clears throat> and work it out right in the midst of these storms and make it true. So this is your gospel, your good news now. And you don't have to bow the knee, submit to any amount of fear. Trembling. <laughs> I'm scared. No. Just because a little storm comes up. Eh, God's got me. What do you want, Father? Help me to understand. Increase my your love. Increase your light in me. Articulate yourself. Grow in me. Sir, help me to make the right decision. To, to What do you want? That's right. My stuff's filthy, stinking rags. Ooh, yuck. My right-mindedness is crap. I don't want to go that way. If you miss, well, quickly. Get back up and go on. Keep proceeding. Exist, exist, exist. Don't let that thing grow up to a one, two, to four, to eight. Get a great big monster on you. Got a whole lot harder to get out of that stuff. A lot more poop, quicksand. Oh, no, no, I'm going down. Oh, oh, I'm going down. Oh, oh. Gurgle and no poop. Your own poopy righteousness. Whoa. I'm choking to death on this shit. <laughs> this poop thing in this seed here he tastes like the smell of my old log my ego right in the way oh it's killing me and don't and then they get well it's not me it's a monster out here doing it to you you better pray to God about that monster out there that it don't overtake you <laughs> and then it's kind of laughing bullies and tyrants and stuff those uh, Deuteronomy 7 1, those ites, those ite nations, those imaginations, they keep you from getting back to the tree of life, back to God. See, it was placed on the east side, that cherubim, that imaginary figures, that imagination in your mind, placed on the east side, speaking of confusion, to keep you, to protect, to guard the way back to the tree of life. So no fleshly thinking can do it. It's not by your might nor by your power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. Don't even try it. Just agree with God. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, thank you. And remember, God is not male or female. He's both. He's one. In the spirit, there's neither male or female. He's one. God is one. 
bringing you back into oneness. If you just agree, 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 always into me. Head right back in the hot pursuit. Don't fail. Don't faint. Ah, if you fall down, bam, bust your nose and stuff. Get back up. Father, help me. See, and you help. It, it helps you kind of make that decision. There you go, son. More pressure, more trials and stuff. And all of a sudden, it could be in all, any many forms. We don't know. God's ways are far above our ways. But you know that you trust God with all, everything you got. Love God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding, and God will direct your path, right? Your course of life. <sighs> Seek God. Seek God first. Seek Him, you know, seek Him where He may be found, right? When He's bringing His opportunities to you. Agree, agree, agree. Yes, sir, Father, help me. Because I'm only able to see like these 2,500 stars right now. Increase me so I can see more. I can understand more of your love or what you're doing. Right now, I may not understand. Right? I've been in a coma for 12 weeks and I'm all, all screwed. <laughs> I can't do nothing. I'm about to die. Again and again and again. Doctors, everybody saying, you're going to die, you're going to die, you're going to die. And you're looking out. You see for four and everything. That's me. <laughs> but God just gave me the ability. Agree with him. Agree, 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 agree. I didn't do it perfect every time. No way. When you fall down, get back up quick as you can. Because that's that. Quick sense that's sucking it down. One or two to four to eight. Don't fall away. Oh no, I'm subsiding away. Recognize that. Acknowledge that all my humanistic thinking is a liar and the truth's not in it. God's the truth. Acknowledge God is the truth. God is the way. God is what you got to do. He's right. And all this my humanistic thinking, all this mankind thinking, is just a bunch of bull. A bunch of baloney. I don't want it. Ooh, it's a lot worse than baloney. I'll eat a piece of baloney. But I don't know, I don't want no, nothing to do with no big old ugh. crap. Here, let me have that there. Make a hot dog go away. No. <laughs> but that's what you're doing inside your mind. And... But tasting it, it tastes good because it's agreeable to you in your mouth and in your stomach and and actually being productive. Oh, man, it's bitter in your stomach. Oh, it's, oh, make you sicker than a dog and you're sliding farther away from God. <clears throat> okay, enough on that. Now, there's times when you're, that language, see, you're not speaking the donkey, he hauled beast nature. Okay. And all the way you're going through this stuff, it's the same as you're praying out. You're trying to communicate with God, and you're missing. But it's getting closer to good and bad. But you're hitting it more often, more and more and more. The farther you go, the more you agree with God. You're getting closer and closer and closer and hitting the right mind of God. God is love. He, this is for love. He's spanking my butt to, to correct it. Correct my thinking. Not to just punish me and beat me and, oh man, then he's gonna throw me in a hell and torment me forever and ever and ever beyond anything I could even stand and never let up. That That's wrong thing. That's that karma. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to do me, do me, wrong. Oh, woe is me, pain, grief, and suffering. If, I'd, uh, if God had allowed me to stay in that pain, grief, and suffering, oh, woe is me, I'd be dead. I wouldn't have made it. I already said, I'll 
probably, I don't remember how many, uh, over 10 what different things they were saying that I died. Yeah, he did, he did, he did, he did, he did. He all had to stay in nursing home the rest of his life. Blah, 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 blah. He'll never walk around, never do that, none of this. Normal again. Blah, 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 blah. cock a doo I mean, <laughs> if you listen to that stuff, and it, and a lot of seemingly evidence of, oh, man, it's hurt so bad. I, I can't even imagine any more pain. My thinker's even messed up. Look at this, man. Oh, look like right here trying to see stuff. I'm seeing double the quadruple everything. What the heck? What the hell? <laughs> and I, that, I, I did that for like, at times, uh, double for about three years on and off. I mean, it got to where, I mean, I get a little, I mean, I, it, it wasn't those old zip that Let's put the microwave in all degree one time or cut it and bam, it's just fit, fixed. I can get up here and walk. I can live in this. Nah, you got to do it over and 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 so in many different ways to each and every person is different. It's wherever God wants to place you in the body. Okay? Everybody's experiences is different. Okay? <coughs> but it's along the same lines. <coughs> now, all this tongues, or you're speaking in tongues of that donkey nature, your beast nature, they're listening to that crap thinking because it's a loud barking dog and he hawing donkey. It's making a lot of noise in your mind. Or you're hearing that still small voice of God. God's giving you spirit, uh, uh, spiritual ears to see, hear, taste, touch, and smell. God's, what God's saying in that eye of the storm. And you got to respond positively, not just with the intention to do it. You hear intelligently and uh, with a pot with a positive intentions, but then follow through with it. Do it. Carry it out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And do it always with gratitude. Understanding God is your exceeding great reward. Never let up. If you let up, boom, fall down. Get back up quick as you can. You can say, oh, I'm sorry, but keep going. Don't just keep going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then you're, whoops, still, you're noticing, if you notice, you're subsiding away into a big bunch of crap, baby. All right? Now get up, go on, walk, live, exist, 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 agree, 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 right back into, all the way back in, God, okay? And all this time you're going down through and going all the way before you get to that EM, that's why I am. You're just, you're, you're like, you're speaking hee-haw and donkey, reacting to that, partaking of that, or you're agreeing with God, and you're speaking in like the tongues of God. You're communicating with the language of God, okay? And you say it, but with, you're acknowledging with, with your mouth, okay? Once that thought process gets all the way in, and that's why in God, where it's tightly locked and quantumly entangled, quantumly entangled, it's in the boom, God, like we like that thing. Come on, baby, light my fire. Okay, God, God's lighting it. Okay, boom, that's a little star. And there's a little tiny one. And there's no need for that tiny That communication is perfectly within God. He's holding it. His, his, he's the fuel. He's the self-existing one in that little area. That's your gospel. Your good news. No one can take that away from you. 
you've experienced it through the man some real torn real tough stuff to get there nobody all this other stuff i had just a bunch of this they don't know father forgive them for they don't know help them through it okay now when it's sent down here they shall cease okay where am i at here about a minute or something left let's they shall cease number okay i have to get back to the verse okay they shall cease that's this word 3973 p-a-u-o strong's g 3973 power 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 okay and that is um a root verb and it means in the in the online version it's to make to desist those times there's no need to desist okay it's no longer stirred your thought that thought process that ball it's no longer stirred by its but by, by that carnal minds when you're inside yourself it's still encouraged and urged to miss the mark it's it doesn't pay no attention to that now because it's on fire for God permanently, held strongly in the nucleus, right in God. God told me. Okay? This is, is one's ball thinking. It's in, that's why in God, and it's no longer stirred by one's own carnal ways, non spiritual ways. Woohoo! God is great. Better than salt and cake. Yeah! All right? Big old fire going on. Ah! God take care of it. I don't have to worry about that. Ah, big old lion, lay down, you big old doggy. I need a pillow. Okay? We maybe pick up here later, okay? Then we're now time.